Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to today's video. So today's video, very excited you could see from the title, we are talking about the brand new palette from Alter Ego. This is Wildwood. This came out a few days ago. I, I think it was, I can't even remember the date. I think maybe the fourth. Um, uh, I just was on, I did receive it a couple days early, but I just haven't had a chance to film. But, um, you know, I actually haven't seen too many videos on this. Um, on this. I've seen a couple people post, but I have not watched them because I wanted to give my own opinion. But uh, this is the Wildwood. Now this is inspired by the Natasha Denota Yucca palette, which I do really like. I love warm tones. This is a unique palette. Um, now, one of the things about the Yucca palette that a lot of people talked about is that while it looks very versatile, it once you start putting it on your eye, a lot of the looks you know, come to be the same. And I, I would agree with that to some point, but I love how Alter Ego laid theirs out. To me, I just feel like it's just easier on the eye. It's easier for a beginner or even an intermediate to kind of lay out the looks as far as matching them up and figuring out, you know, what, um, you know, how to do an eye look. When it's a little bit, you know, this, the Yucca palette, the way it's laid out, um, I think it's beautiful. But for me, it's fine. I find it a little bit more challenging. But very excited to, we're going to do is what I do with typically with the um, Alter Ego is I'm going to put one on one eye, one on the other, and I'll do some comparisons. Now, I did do some swatches earlier, um, and I posted these on my Instagram. So here are the swatches that I did in sunlight. So this is uh, this, the full palette in the sunlight. And you can see here that the, the way that it's laid out is basically all the shimmers are on the top row, which I really do like. I think it was very, um, you know, very, again, very easy to look and, and trying to figure out what kind of eye look you're going to do. So, um, but let's go ahead and talk about the wild one. Now, before we get started with the Wildwood, I did want to mention I did receive the Dream Gaze palette. This is a inspired by the Natasha Denona pastel palette. I do have that one. Um, I had fully intended on doing a video, but I did receive this one a little bit later than other people. Um, it just took a long time to get to me. And then by the time I got it, a lot of people had videos and I had other things just pending. So if you want a side-by-side -side video of this, you know, let it know, let me know in the um, comments below. Uh, you know, it's something I might, you know, do later on. It's not a new release, but if people are interested in it, you know, let me know. I do have the pastel. It's not my favorite because I just don't wear pastels, but I do have that one. So let's talk about the Wildwood palette. And it says, um, discover the untamed beauty of the forest with Wildwood, an exquisite curation of 15 shades. Each color is an homage to the wild at heart, offering a blend of mattes, shimmers, and glitters that echo the diverse textures of the wilderness. Unleash your natural artistry with hues as vivid as the gold golden glow of dawn to the rich earthy depths of the woodland floor. So again, here I'll just post it again. Here are the swatches that I did in sunlight. Here's the palette. I will also be doing a kind of swatching shade by shade, which is typically what I do. So I'll swatch shade by shade so you can see the comparison. And I'm curious how this is. Um, you know, I really, the, when she came out with the Yucca palette, there was a lot more new formulas as far as like the shimmers were concerned. So I'm, you know, interested in seeing that. These shimmers seem, really pretty but there there's nothing special about them they're not like super shiny or super you know water effect or anything but they're really pretty um the comparison is this one's 69 dollars. this is 22 and if this is a color story that you like but you don't love and i will say is i really like this color story but it's not something i gravitate so towards like the i need a nude is something i gravitate towards this one is something that you know i'll wear if i'm you know wearing a certain color or kind of like fall is a really great palette so I think that's when it's really great to purchase something like this, where it's not something you're going to use a lot. So get the $22 one um, if you're just not going to, you know, use the $69 one as often. So let's go ahead and do the swatch comparisons between Wildwood and Yucca. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go row by row and for the Wildwood palette. So I'm going to do all the shimmers first, compare them with the comparable shade of Yucca, and I'll do them. So it's going to be 10 shades total, and then I'll wipe off the arm and I'll do it. That's how I do it always. So um, I will say matching up the shimmers was a little bit more challenging because while two of them looked the same in the plan, they really don't look 
you know, same. Now, when you swatch them, they're very similar, but it was a little bit more challenging. I did have to kind of do a test run because I really wasn't sure. So we'll go ahead and start. And I'm going to start with, again, I'm going to start. The first one I do will be the Wildwood palette. The second I do will be the Yucca, and I will read the corresponding shade. Okay, so we're going to start with Lush from Wildwood, and then this is Como Rebi from Yucca. Next, we have Golden from Wildwood and Ray from Yucca. Next, we have Awe from Wildwood and Elysian from Yucca. Then we have Ray from Wildwood and Plantagia from Yucca. And then finally, we have Thrive from Wildwood and Makia from Yucca. So I will say, um, some of them I think are very close. I do like the shimmers more in the Natasha Denona palette. Um, you know, to me, they're just, there's, they feel better. They go on easier. They definitely feel creamier. However, looking at them, they're very similar. How it looks on the eye, like how something swatches and how it looks on the eye could be very similar. And is it worth the difference of, you know, 50 something dollars you know, 45, I don't know the difference, I can't do my math, but it's it's close to that, so is it worth it? But I think they're very similar. I do think these shimmers are really, really good. It was just that the formula for the Yucca palette was new, very, very creamy. However, I think it's a pretty close match for many of them. Okay, so next up is going to be the second row, which is all mattes, and actually, most of them are all mattes, like this lash shade is kind of like a mix, but for the most part, the rest are matte. So we're gonna do start with the second row now, and we're gonna start with Zest from Wildwood and Camu Camu from Yucca. Next, we have Moss from Wildwood and Acacia from Yucca. Then we have Amber from Wildwood and Fushi from Yucca. Trail from Wildwood, Valley from Yucca. And then finally, Stream from Wildwood and Willow from Yucca. So I will say the um, couple of them are a little bit different. Um, these two, I actually, it took me a while to match them up and these two, but I actually like, I actually like the shades in Wildwood better. Now, again, Natasha Denona mattes are one of my favorite mattes. Um, it's, they're very pigmented, but they're very blendable. These are not as pigmented, but they're also, but they, they are very blendable. So you're not going to get the same quality that you're going to get Natasha Denona. However, the quality in the Alter Ego palettes is very, very good, especially for the price point. So, um, this is the second row of all mattes. And now finally, we are at the third row again, which is mostly mattes. This one is kind of got a little bit shimmer to it, but it's not a shimmer. So this is what we're gonna start with. So first up is Honey from Wildwood and Citrine from Yucca. Next we have Pollen from Yucca and Tipu from Yucca. Citrus from Wildwood, Iaxia from Yucca. Oak from Wildwood, Flax from Yucca. Wisp from Wildwood and Calathea from Yucca. So again, I think, um, except for this shade, but I think that's probably my swatching that's not doing that great. They definitely feel, um, they feel the same. The, the bats feel the same quality. I think the shades are, some of them aren't exact dupes. They're similar, um, but I actually, again, I like some of the variations in the Wildwood palette. Uh, I, yeah, the Wildwood palette seems a little bit more everyday than just a tad um, than the Yucca palette. So the Yucca palette has, you know, a brighter orange, a brighter yellow, where I think it's a little bit more muted. I mean, a tad bit more muted in the Wildwood, but I like that. So, um, so I think it's a really great comparison. Again, the quality of Alter Ego is very good, but it's never going to be the same quality as Natasha Denona. But again, you know, it's a matter of what's your price point. Okay, and once again, Alter Ego did send me their um, uh, eyeshadow base, which I now have like two backups because I keep sending these. This is great. It's a really great eyeshadow base. Um, I do really like it. So I am going to put the Alter Ego on this side, the Natasha Denona on this side, and we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison. I have clean brushes on both, so I will be, I've, I have pretty much the same brushes, but I have duplicate brushes. So I will be using the same brushes, but different, same number or style of brushes, but different brushes for applying. So let's get started. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go with a very simple look. I'm just gonna use this row right here. Um, and one of the things about this palette is there really isn't a good 
inner corner or, or bro brow bone palette. I think I remember when I did the original review for the Yucca palette, same goes for this one. So not gonna worry about that one, but I'm gonna use the Ruffer 16 and I'm gonna go in with pollen on my left side and kind of put that as the transition shade all over the lid. And you can see this one goes on really, really nicely. Um, it blends out nicely. It goes on, but it's, it's, it's pigmented, but not too pigmented where, you know, I think with Natasha Denona, you do have to be a little bit more careful, but, um, it's going on really, really nice. Again, I've had, I, this is not my first Alter Ego palette, so I am very familiar with the formula and the formula is very good. Okay, so now I'm going to go on this side with, um, Tipu, I think it is. Again, it goes on really nicely. And this one I'm actually having a little, a little trouble with. So, um, but it's going on, but it's not, um, it actually isn't going on as good as the Alter Ego, surprisingly enough. So, um, but I am being able to build it up. Okay, so here is the Alter Ego side. Here is the Natasha Denona. This is Pollen. This is Taipu. And now we'll move on to the outer corner. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the shade Moss. And again, like I said, I'm just gonna go in on the outer corner and then bring it into the crease. And this is kind of my standard, how I do my eyeshadow pretty much all the time. Um, every once in a while I'll branch out, I'll do a halo eye, but that's usually me watching somebody else's tutorial. But again, this one's going on really nice and it's a very similar shade. It's just a little deeper, which I like. And I'm just kind of bringing it over so, but again, went on really nice and blended out really nice. And now for the Tadasha Nona side, this is the shade Acacia, I think. And this one, I felt like it was a little bit different than the other side. And um, then the uh, Wildwood, I felt like it's not as, it's just a different shade. And this one I'm actually struggling with a bit. So, but I, I think I put a little bit too much on the brush but it's going out, it's blending out really nicely. I'm, I am going to take the other original brush and then just blend it out a little bit, smooth it out. Little application user error. But again, you know, I love Natasha Denona formula, so it's not a surprise um, that I like this, but I'm gonna bring it in a little bit more, but you'll see here, again, this is the alter ego side. This is the Natasha Denona side. Actually, so far for the mattes, the Alter Ego has been easier to apply. Go figure. Okay, so I am going to use a brush to apply the shimmer um, just because I it applies better for me that way. Um, sometimes I will go back over with my finger, but I'm gonna use the shade Golden and I'm going to apply it all over the lid. Now that is really pretty. That goes on really, really nicely and it's a really pretty shimmer. So I am, you know, I will say swatching it, I was like, oh, okay, it's it's a good palette, um, you know, but it's not gonna be as good as the Yucca. But as I'm applying it, I'm more and more impressed. Okay, and now I'm going to apply the shade Ray. And it's interesting, because there's two shades Ray. There's shade Ray in, in Yucca and in the Alter Ego, but they're not, corresponding shades, so that's a little confusing. But this one is going on really nicely too. Um, I know with Natasha Denona, you sometimes like to apply it with the finger, but I wanna be consistent. But again, this one um, went on gorgeous. So here is the Alter Ego, and this is the Natasha Denona. And then I am gonna take my refer number three, and I am just going to um, line the lower lash line um, on both and use that just a little bit and then let me switch brushes here okay so that was uh, I used moss on this side and then on this side I'm going to go in with acacia so the same shade the the deepest shade that I used and just line it ever so lightly and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back put some mascara and come back Okay, so we have a guest here. This is my son. He was here in the last uh, Alter Ego video, so he's gonna make another appearance. And so Ryder, you gotta look at my eyeshadow and you gotta say, which one do you think is more expensive and which one do you think <laughs> is is um, not as expensive? Not cheap, just not expensive. Which one do you think is more expensive? Which side? Okay, I'm gonna guess 
That one more expensive. This one's more expensive? Okay, you got it right. Yay! <laughs> so this one. Now, why did you think that one was the more expensive one? Because, like, it has a darker thing on top, and okay. it's more sparkly. It's more sparkly. Okay, The other well, one was just not as sparkly. So which one was it? Winwood this or... Is, this is the more expensive one. So this one was this one, and then Winwood was that Wildwood one. is this one, yes. It's, I thought it was Winwood. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's way too light. Okay, well, thank you very much. So tell like, everybody bye. Bye, and it's our shuttle. Okay, so there you have it. That is the expert opinion of an eight-year-old. Um, and actually, he, he's gone in pretty wide. Uh, got it right, uh, you know, twice. So I think I included him in the last one. But, um, you know, honestly, to me, it's it's very very close um the the like i said the shimmers in the the natasha denono the formula had been improved it's definitely one of the best but i do think that the wildwood is a very good palette um as far as quality is concerned this was really easy to use um and honestly the mattes i felt went on easier than <laughs> the natasha denona yucca um i kind of struggled a bit with this one which was a little odd but when you're, you know, comparing them when I'm using it, I don't feel like I'm struggling, but I'm also not at this like little tiny desk. But um, I did find that the wild wood was easier to put on and easier to blend. Now the shimmers, I would I would say that's the key and, and Ryder noticed is that they're not as impactful as the one in Yucca. But maybe you like that or maybe you just don't want to spend the $69, but you want, you know, you like this color story, but you don't like it enough to spend $69. So. I always do recommend the um, the Alter Ego palettes. I think they're fantastic. But again, I don't recommend it. If you already have the Yucca, then I don't recommend purchasing this. I don't think you need both um, unless you really love this one, but you don't want to travel with it and you want this one for a vacation. But if you wanted this one and you are, you know, you just didn't want to spend the money, then I think this is a great option. Now I do have a promo code. It is Shannon10 and that will save you 10% off of any Alter Ego um, order. So um, I do recommend the eyeshadow base. So if you are picking up a palette, I do recommend picking up the eyeshadow base. I think it's like five bucks, four or five dollars. Um, and I do really like this one. I think this one's great. Uh, I'm really excited to play around with it a little bit more. So um, again, let me know if you want a video on Dream Gaze or if it wasn't, you know, didn't interest you. But let me know in the comments below and let me know if this is one that you might be picking up. So with that, if you like this video, click like, click and subscribe. That way you get a notification every time I post a new video. Bye everyone. <laughs>